Hello everyone, um, it's Wednesday, so it's challenge day, and this week we've got Ghost Town, we've got uh, Charged Bruisers, along with uh, Shooters doing 50% more damage to help us this week. Uh, it's a much tougher map set than last week was, and we're going to have a lot of fun, I reckon. Um, we've got, first map we're going to talk about is Parking Lot, starts with a big group of walkers uh, in front of you, usually within striking distance, so having a charged warrior uh, on this will be really helpful, um, especially if you've got one that can take down quite a few walkers on their charge attack using a, a morning star or dragon's tongue. Um, and you've got to open uh, the car boots, and it's the usual fine three out of six. There are two red car boots, which means when you open them, because uh, red flashing means danger, um, when you open them or interact with them, they will spawn walkers. So you leave those two till last, just in case you don't need to open them. On the van in the middle of the map, if you open the door from the right hand square, um, the walker that spawns on the left won't be able to reach you uh, on the same turn. And there's one that spawns to the right next to the little grey car. Um, that would probably be able to get you, um, depending on where it spawns. So just be sure you've got someone ready to herd it, kill it, or stun it. Um, and the far right van, which is red, um, two spawn from there, right in front of you. So again, have um, something ready to stun or herd it when when they come out. And then you've got to get to the line. There is an there is an incoming, so if you can keep the threat down, even better. If not, you want to move quite quickly. Uh, the walkers spawn near the start and also on the line, and uh, you've got to get through a fence so it can block up quite quickly. Uh, next map I'm going to talk about is Main Road, and at high level, this is one of the more tricky ones. Uh, you've got to kill a tank and three starting walkers that start in front of you and open the fence to get through to the other side and get to the exit at the far right of the map. Um, there's two tanks waiting for you on the right hand side of that map as well and you've also got auto spawns in the first section with you and on the right hand section so you want to get on that gate as quickly as you can. Whilst you can take them down, uh, the tank down the right do so as quickly as possible. So, again, if you've got a decent warrior who can do a lot of damage, uh, brilliant. Um, shooters having 50% more damage might be helpful, but you've got to get them charged up, really. Um, yeah, it's uh, last time we had this, um, it ended up being a case of using free bruisers. And with right good Glenn starting them charged. Stun the ones at the middle and take the hits from the tank and then run to the line as quickly as possible using a med kit if needed to uh, heal up for three stars. Have a shield on, at least one of them if you've got it, so that if you do struggle you can push it off if you're just trying to uh, just trying to get through it. Tough map. Um, and... Uh, not looking forward to this one uh, much at all. So this is the right hand side of the map I was talking about with the two tanks um, and you've got to get to the line. Sunday Traffic is probably my favourite map of this set. I really enjoy it. It's mainly because it's such a good map for uh, herding and threat reduction. It's one of the longest maps for a challenge map, it goes on quite a way um, before you can get to the line. And you've got to open up um, three car doors to uh, activate the line. And there is a red car halfway along, which will spawn a walker on either side. You can spawn block one side by putting two survivors in the way. Um, but... Be careful when doing it because the walk on the left will be out of sight. So make sure you can move someone 
to see it before and then attack it. Um, I'll show you what I mean when I when I do a video. If you want to practice your prowling and your herding, this is a great map to do it on, and I'll be doing a a video along those lines uh, as soon as I can. Um, last thing to be aware is the far right truck. When if you have to open it, will spawn a tank. So if you can use Pizza Glen, do so. So but if you have to open it, you can open it and get to the line on the same turn. Otherwise, have someone ready to either take a hit, try and uh, interrupt it, or um, push it with a Morning Star or Shield. Swap is quite an unusual map in the fact that it starts the same every time. There's no random spawn to it. You'll always start like this with unaware walkers uh, armoured. You've got three walkers to start with. The spawns are predictable where they come in. It's always the three spaces adjacent to that bottom walker and three spaces at the top right of the map. Um, so you can spawn block, uh, you can spawn block a couple of them, you can set yourself up ready to power strike the incoming or herd it, whatever you fancy doing. Um, to the right here there's a van, a uh, red flashing van, open that and four riot, uh, uh, riots will spawn. You have to kill them to activate the exit. You can spawn block them. Uh, either by using your own survivors to spawn block two of them or um, other walkers to spawn block some of the others. Beware though, don't spawn block all of them because if nothing comes out, there's nothing to kill and the green light, will, the exit will never light up. Um, threat reduction um, and Warrior is how I like to play this one to start with. Um, when it starts getting harder um, and much higher levels, then you're looking at a, uh, a crowd control team of Sasha Assault Shane, Sasha Assault Yumiko. Possibly uh, a Princess Yumiko Shane team might be quite fun to try. Um, you got to get into the bottom right corner as quickly as possible. Uh, build yourself a wall. Uh, maintain it, open the gate, and then kill what comes out. If you are doing it this that way, note you don't actually need to kill the riots that start on the board. Just keep an eye on the ones that come out um, and focus your attention on those to speed it up. Um, that's pretty much everything on that one. Barbecue is a really tough map if you don't have the right weapons. So... Daryl's Assault Rifle is a great one for this. Um, anything that can root them, uh, cripple them, slow them down, <coughs> set them on fire. So, Sasha Assault, Yumiko, if your Assault's got the Daryl's Assault Rifle, is going to be brilliant on it. We have fire on Yumiko if you can. Or Sasha and two Assaults, both with um, Daryl's Assault Rifles if you've got two. Um, uh, just thinking if you could possibly use a princess lead on it with Yumiko but getting the status effects on uh, tanks is going to be the tricky part on that could you shame with a festive shotgun um, or a fire weapon to set them on fire it, you could use a few teams on it but the Daryl's Assault Rifle is the main one you need for it if you don't have that um, then a Sasha's uh, uh, harpoon gun with a uh, shoot with cripple um, and uh, another hunter with fire you might be able to get away with um, but or you can go for trying to prowl them with Daryl um, and a couple of scouts or a scout and a bruiser um, but you need them to come at you one at a time and also beware of this top left tank because um, if you're using range and you fire from sort of this distance, it'll start wandering and chances are it's going to wander towards you. Um, uh, not a nice map um, if you've got, if you don't have Daryl's Assault Rifle, to be fair. 
Um, used to be one of the hardest ones uh, in the game. This map is also a horrible map. It's got a quick incoming. You've got to open all the three boxes. One of them red, uh, the car being red, which spawns two walkers. You can spawn block one of them uh, on the left um, by putting two people there. Um, threat reduction, if you can keep the threat down, makes it quite easy. But there's two tanks. Either one sort of normally starts near you, either in front of you or to the right above the red boot and another one towards the end line which is around the corner over here um, don't forget <laughs> don't forget to get that first top left box uh, it's been done many times before um, higher levels last time this took an age it was Sasha Assault Shane you used to kill the stuff here the right hand side will fill up with incoming nothing spawns no incoming from this starting area and uh, you work your way forwards explode it all with a well-timed chain shot and get to the exit this time with Yumiko probably going to be a similar thing but just picking your way through the crowd there is um, a good spawn block to the left of the box those two spots um, which really helped last time and I'll show you that if I get to that difficulty um, I plan on taking quite easy this week after the last two weeks a horrible map and will be a stopper for quite a few people um, that's all of it this week uh, as I say there's a couple of horrible maps on there at high level main road and suburbia being the main ones they're the ones I'm least looking forward to doing um, but as I say, I do I do enjoy Sunday traffic, so at least you get and and SWAT. I like the predictability, um, and being able to, um, know what where things are happening and what's going to happen. I wish there were more maps like that, to be honest, and less of the random spawns. But, uh, it's what it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the challenge, and I'll uh, see you soon.